I'm Lights Camera Jax. I'm here with Emmy winning actor, comedian, Tim Conway. Tim, welcome. Wow, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you very much. So, how'd you get started? <laughs> no, wait a minute. That's, yeah. oh. In that case, how did you get started? <laughs> uh, very slowly, actually. Uh, I, I, uh, I wasn't going to be in, inter in the entertainment business. I was going to be a jockey. Really? Yeah, but uh, at this weight, uh, even horses ask you to get off, so I, uh, I didn't go through with it. But you are wonderful. I've seen you on a couple of shows and everything. You're Thank you. national shows and everything. And just Thank at your you. age, Thank do you, you realize that I was almost 11 before I got into anything like that? Wow. Yeah. That's very interesting. I've seen you on several shows as you well. You have. One of my favorites of all time, SpongeBob SquarePants as Barnacle yeah. Boy. Oh my gosh, yeah. You know, I didn't even know I was on that show. Uh, really? Well, you make these things, you know, a voiceover, and then they take it somewhere, and uh, some poor guy in a cave. Uh, draws it and colors it in and everything. And by the time they get it back, you've forgotten about it. So my granddaughter, Courtney, uh, told me that I was on the show. Really? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So basically, did they offer it to you? Uh, no, I had to beat up a very tall guy. And I, they wanted somebody else. And I said, wait a minute. Hold it. Um, they came to Ernie Borgnine and I. And I guess because we had been in McHale's Navy together. So uh, we ended up being... Uh, he, he's, uh, you know, the uh, hero of the whole thing. I'm just an annoying guy. <laughs> You're a very funny guy. Oh, gee, case. Willie cares. Where do you live? Uh, maybe I can come over and do you have a spare room or anything where I could really hang out? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Somewhere in the basement. All right, maybe. I'm there. Yeah, okay. Yeah. About how many times a year do you go Six. into the studio? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. To, to, to do it? Yeah. Um, I'm probably, you know, I was right. It's about six. Really? Yeah, if we do about six or... So a, sh uh, a year, mm -hmm. and uh, it's just down the street. So it's very nice. You don't have to get dressed up. I mean, you have to wear some clothing, but right. you don't have to get dressed up and uh, just go down and uh, do it. What's been your favorite part of the whole experience of voicing Barnacle Boy for ten years? The unusual thing is <clears throat> that I'm really not using an unusual voice. You know, I, I think practically just talking like this. Right. You know, in a sense. So I, I'm kind of surprised that people recognize the fact that I am Barnacle Boy because I'm really not doing anything, a character voice or anything. Are there some upcoming episodes that you want to talk about? Um, hmm, let me see. I don't want to give anything away because I don't know anything. <laughs> uh, no, I don't. I actually don't. I, we did one, I guess, uh, probably about five or six weeks ago, so that'll be wow. out probably in 10 or 12 years. So you <laughs> stick around and... Uh, See if you can pick up on it. Yeah, and you've also done so many uh, family films and yes. movies. You were part yeah. of some of the Air Bud movies. Tell us about that. Right. That. Well, I kind of, uh, when I was getting into this business, one of the first guys I met was Don Knotts. Yeah. And Don and I were very good friends, and we often talked about what we do in the business as far as the kind of material that we do. And he does family entertainment, I do family entertainment, and that's what I'm comfortable with, that's what he's comfortable with. In my uh, personal life, I suppose I sh should be in Leavenworth, but in reality, uh, I don't want to present it to kids, you know, with language or nudity or anything uh, of that. <laughs> kidding? Oh my gosh. Um, so uh, we got into family entertainment, and uh, that's pretty much what I'm in. in Join, you know, and you're going to see the show tonight, so yes. you'll see how stupid this is. You know, <laughs> that you're silly walking around the way we do. Yeah, you're doing your comedy show, your comedy yeah. tour right now. Right. I've seen some of your videos as Dorf. The oh, really? Man, yeah. Especially on Johnny Carson. Yeah. Hilarious <laughs> stuff. You're like this. On your yeah. Well, we're going to do that tonight too. Fantastic. Yeah. Now I unscrew my legs, you know, from the knee down. I uh -huh. take those off and uh, put the shoes on there. So it's a little painful, but it's worth it. <laughs> You'll find a lot of show because this stuff is painful. <laughs> it's cold, you want to get that early yes. tea time, you know. you got to warm up because if uh -huh. you don't, boy, that's your win. You hurt yourself. Oh. So, I suggest that, you know, maybe a little side to side, like this is our side. Side to side. Yeah, right. That's a good thing. Keep that at the back and loose, you know. And then, I suggest you maybe touch your toes. This is touch your toes. I think it's 
probably one of them. Yeah, Dorf, the old man, uh, Tudball, those, uh, you know, we had such a wonderful lady in Carol Burnett, such a great star in that uh, she allowed you to do whatever you wanted. You know, if you're funny, she was uh, going to let you go with it. So uh, a lot of the characters were invented on the Burnett show. And uh, those are the ones that I kind of uh, liked that uh, came up on the Burnett show. Was uh, she an idol when you were younger, or anybody else an idol? Uh, I met her a long time ago on the Gary Moore show in New York. Uh, she was doing the Gary Moore show, and uh, he didn't know it. But uh, she would do it anyway, and that, that really annoyed him. And he finally said, well, okay, you can be on the show. <laughs> um, and from that, when she came to CBS out in Hollywood, she asked me to be on a couple of shows a year, and then it got to be five and ten, and it got to be... Finally, uh, they were making 33 shows a year for a season, and she asked me if I would be a regular, and I said, well, I will do 32 shows, and I need one week open in case I do a movie or something. Mm -hmm. And during that time off, uh, that one week, I normally would be a guest on her show. So in reality, I was probably doing 33 mm -hmm. shows. Mm -hmm. Now, you've done so many things in your career. Yes. Is there something you still want to accomplish? Uh, gee, I don't think so. I, as I say, I enjoy this business so much and enjoy entertaining people that I've pretty much done what I want to do in life. You know, I mean, I'm not going to check out tonight, but mm, maybe tomorrow, you never know. Um, but no, I can't think of anything that uh, I would really have missed along the way, you know. Now you've been an Emmy winner. Yes. Congratulations to you. Thank you very much. <laughs> I've been fortunate to go up on stage and win one of those. As I well. saw that. Yes. It was, I was very lucky to have that happen. Lucky. Do you have any? Do you very have any, talented. Thank you. Do you have any advice to people who maybe go into the business and go up on stage and yeah. receive an award like that? Yeah. Well, uh, the last one I got was for Thirty Rock, and uh -huh. uh, it was kind of towards the end of the show. So um, Jack was announcing uh, the nominees, and he said the nominees are Tim Conway for 30 Rock, and I got up and went on stage, and he hadn't announced the rest of the uh, people yet, and I said, uh, he said, what are you doing up here? And I said, well, you know, I'm up here now, I said, and then if I win, I just take the thing and go, uh, then you don't have to play that music and wait for me to thank a lot of people and everything, and he said, okay, so he said, here's the rest of the people, and they named them, and he said, the winner is Tim Conway, I took the thing and left. <laughs> it saved them a lot of time, Brilliant. they were way over anyway. Brilliant, yeah. Tim Conway, fantastic. Thank you, <laughs> thank thank you, you very, very much. much, thank, thank you. you, and good luck to you, my thank gosh. Thank you very much, you can watch him on his comedy tour and on Spongebob Squarepants. I'm Lights Camera Jackson, your kid Chris. Thank